Hello, and welcome along to Adobe After Effects with your host, Robert Smith. In this exercise, we're going to work out how to use a stroke to reveal some lettering in a handwriting type effect. So let's get stuck in. Apple end the start, like this. 1287.20, 10 seconds is good. Okay, I'll zoom out Apple minus so I can see my stage. And again, I might use this fit up to 100% here. That's great. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my type tool and type in the word end more like that. Now the font I'm using is called Wolf in the City. It's a good font for handwriting style things because it's italic and a bit of a script number. Okay, what I need to do now is to use the pen tool. Now to grab the pen tool you can press the letter G. That's the shortcut or you can go up here to the menus if you like. Now the trick is to first of all select the layer. Don't forget to do that or you'll get something totally different. So Apple Plus to zoom in a bit and away I go, I'm going to draw a path around this. Now, paths can, this path can be relatively rough. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be um, using it as, as a mask. But the important part is that you continue the line. You don't break the line anywhere. If you do that, it's not going to work. So I'm just quickly and roughly doing this. You can be as fussy as you like. And away I go. Uh, you can be as fussy as the client's budget, as they say. So I'm just going around here like this. I'm just trying to talk over the top while I'm doing this. Okay, now some letters are a little bit tricky, like this O is a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to about here. I'm going to go backwards like this. And then when I get to here, I don't want it to cross over. So I'm just going to go up here like that might Apple Z that and just curve it a little bit. Now if your busier points get in the way just hold the option key down and just drag that point in there so we can go around here like this and we can go down here up around here. Now that's a bit rough that one I could have done that a little bit better but just drag that down to here down to here, around to here, up to there, and across here, and again I'll go backwards with this letter here, or could I go around, and I might go around and down, you just have to analyse each letter individually, oh, that's probably a better way of doing it, and here I am at the end. Okay, there's my very rough path, I'll zoom out, Apple minus, like that. Now the effect I'm going to use to create this is called um, Stroke. So if I go to my Effects and Presets and click on Stroke and just drag it on like that, we have the options up here for this, the properties of the Stroke effect. So what I want, the first thing I want to do is grab my brush size and just make it a lot bigger like that. So actually we just put some meat on that Stroke if you like. And I want to put it on Original Image like this, Reveal Original Image. And now, how we make this on the magic happen is this thing here. It's called the end property. So if I drag that back to zero at the start, and I'll put in a keyframe up here, like that, and then I'll go to about two seconds in time, and I'll drag that end property in like this, and you can see it's starting to write, looking very good, up to 100%. Let's have a look at that, do a RAM preview. That's exactly what we want. The writing effect looks very, very good indeed. So Apple minus to zoom out and have a look at it. But I want to add just a little bit more to it. I want to uh, actually change colors. As it writes itself, I want it to change colors. So to do that, I'm going to go down here to my end more layer, to the text layer like that, and click on animate. And I'm going to animate the fill color in RGB. So I'll just drag that there like that, and it defaults to red. So now it's red. So at the start, it's going to be red, but I want it to ch um, change to yellow. To do that, I'm going to put a keyframe there. Um, I'm going to move that up a bit so you can see it just there for the fill color. And about two seconds, I want to put and change the color to a yellow, like this, a yellowy orangey color. And there it is. So let's have a look at that effect. 
That's exactly what we're after. And we can add all sorts of animators, but that, that's beyond the scope of this lesson. So let's have a look what we've done. We simply um, set some type. Um, uh, choosing your fonts pretty important. Italic fonts look pretty good like this. And then we created a, a mask using the, the pen tool and use the stroke effect. Okay, thanks for watching.